guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I am taking you through my kind of everyday spring makeup. Now, I don't wear makeup every single day, but this is kind of how I do my makeup every time I am going to be wearing makeup right now. I've kind of been doing it for the last month, and I really like it, so I thought I would share the products and the steps with you guys. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna open this package. This is from Backstage Beauty. Um, I want to try them out. I have never purchased anything from them, but something that they have, which I really appreciate, is they actually carry the full range of makeup from, like the full range of Makeup Forever Makeup effectively. Um, at least the face products that I was looking at. Whereas Sephora doesn't. So I've been on the hunt for a really cool pink like blush and I have the Dior one, but it just isn't, I don't know. Like something about it just isn't hitting the way I exactly want it to. And I want to try a few other things because I know that the Dior blush is good, but maybe part of it that's missing in my opinion is that I don't have a cream that's light enough to go underneath. So that step is kind of missing. But anyways, we picked up, I picked up these Makeup Forever shades. These ones are definitely like on the right path, I think. And then this one is kind of peachy. And then these, this is the refillable makeup system. So I'm hoping that it fits. I got the XL palette, so, which I appreciate. But anyways, so, Kind of what sparked this is I obviously like really want uh, like the cool pink look um, and something that has been kind of deeply bothering me is the fact that the NAR like NARS Thrill is completely out of stock and people are saying, oh, it's like possibly discontinued. I'm like, great. And then, I messaged NARS and I was like, is it ever coming back in stock? Please, you know, let a girl know. And then they never responded to me. So, yeah. So I went searching for alternatives. The Dior one was obviously like the most posted about one. Um, but I already had the Dior one. And honestly, for me, it's a little so-so. But that's okay. I was like, I'll try something else. If anything, I'll just like layer them all up together, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, sorry. I'm just having like such a hard time getting these apart because I don't know how to get them apart. But anyways, I found this company. I was like, mm, I don't know anything about them, but I gave them a shot. They did take a while to fulfill the order. That's not a problem though, because I haven't had time here anyways, but Oh wow, this one is like different. This one has like clear and then the others were black backed anyways. Okay, so I will go through the colors once I pop this all in here, sorry. Okay, these are all matte shades. Okay, this was actually very convenient. Okay, so this is the palette that I picked. This is B202, this is B204. And this is B208. I kind of wish, like there are, uh, what do you call it? There, there are stickies on the back of the pants themselves, but then this is just blank. But this is really, really cute. I definitely like this. Cause like sometimes when I, like sometimes traveling, I want to build my own palettes. Or like I want to bring like certain shades and this might be the way to do it if I do like this formulation. But yeah, I like hardcore committed to three because of like free shipping, but anyways. Okay, all right. So this purchase was sparked by the want of a pale pink, sorry. Pale pink eye, like pale pink colors. And something that I saw, um, Susie Binaldi, um, did this tutorial on her TikTok of that like diffused makeup where she had a darker color and then like a lighter color, which is why I have the two different cool tones. But also something that I was finding is that everything was kind of turning out really dark on me. All of the other cool tones are turning like 
kind of darker and I wanted that like really really frosty pinky so I was like if I'll mix them together it'll be fine but anyways all of this being said <laughs> guys are probably at this point like Stephanie shut up and get to it um yeah so I I'm just curious and excited to see but now let's actually get into me doing my makeup because that's what I have spent four hours four minutes leading up to okay starting with the milk hydro grip i love this primer and genuinely can't recommend it enough it is one of those purchases that even though it's a hydro grip and like really hydrating when i was in italy and like over the summer last year it did not it wasn't too hydrating like it did not cause any issues at all and genuinely it just feels so nice and it really does like it's it's quite sticky after a while and makes your makeup last really well anyways the foundation of my routine hasn't really changed much um i hate to say it quite boring the only thing that is kind of different is the setting powder and then the blushes and stuff but anyways we'll get into that later so uh charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter if you guys have been on tiktok and seen the de influencing videos i feel like a lot of people mention charlotte tilbury stuff i personally feel like charlotte tilbury stuff works really well for me it doesn't cause me to break out it has good color matches for me but i am kind of like that medium light kind of range always I'm also going to put in a little bit of Wonder Glow today just because I am feeling, I am feeling pasty. Um, but yeah, so Charlotte Tilbury, obviously it's not for everybody as these de-influencing videos have kind of shown, but I personally love Charlotte Tilbury and I would recommend it, especially, especially if you're acne prone, um, like I am, I do feel like her stuff really does like it doesn't break i feel like her stuff doesn't break me out which is more important to me than like price points or like dupes you know at at this stage in my ideology i just i sort of feel like i would rather pay something pay a little bit more for something that i know for sure isn't going to break me out versus like trying a dupe and then it going horribly awry the final thing is I'm just dotting in some of this uh, Shiseido, uh, let's see what this is called again, Waso Shiseido Color Smart Dry Moisturizer Oil Free Broad Spectrum SPF. So I just put this little combination on my face, then I take this Morphe brush and swirl it all together and start to kind of tap and blend it in. Keep in mind that like because i'm sitting in front of a large window with natural lighting it is quite forgiving on my texture and my skin but there is texture and stuff going on it's also just like i'm using my front camera on my iphone which is also not like going to show 100 percent of everything but i hope you can see like i still have pores and i still have stuff this is not a pore filling product by any means and I honestly personally don't really care that much about pore filling products anymore. I just find that they're too heavy on my skin and they clog my pores and kind of make the problem worse in the long run. So I rather just focus on like tone and a little bit of texture but just kind of working on like the pores and stuff through my skincare versus like correcting that with a primer. Okay. One thing that's a little annoying about this combination, I think I need to get a lighter one of these for the winter, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And now that I'm filming this in March, you guys will probably see this in April. There's no point with uh, the warm weather coming and my melanin will actually start to work <laughs> again at some point. Um, I'm very pale right now, but I will pick up some color in the sun just kind of naturally 
So there's no point. Um, I should have, but I don't, and just don't judge me. So I'm a little orangey right now, but that's okay. It's all good. Step two, a little bit of bronze and contour -y situation. This is the Rare Beauty um, bronzer stick in Happy Soul. And I just kind of like do a little, I do a little bit. I don't really contour per se. And then I just take this fluffy brush and I blend it until there's no like lines or anything like that. I really make sure to blend it into my hairline because I get this like very stark like <laughs> stop right at the hairline and it's so awkward. Normally this takes me also like five, 10 minutes, but cause I'm talking to you guys, it is gonna take me a little bit longer and I like can't just like rush through everything, but yeah, just letting you know, this is not usually a very long process and it's very basic. Now, normally this is where I go in with a cream product. I don't have a cream product that really is going to, like a cream blush that's really gonna work for me here. So I'm gonna skip that, skip that right now. I then I'm gonna set it with this Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray. And while that dries down, I'm just gonna kind of fill in the areas of my brows that need a little help. Um, really funny, I had a, somebody on my Pinterest like comment and say, oh, like your brows are so-so. And I was just like, thanks. Like I know my brows are so-so. I constantly say I don't really know how to do my brows and I also leave my brows natural a lot because I just honestly can't be arsed to like go get them done every single month um don't really care that much about them if I'm being honest like I like my natural shape they could use a little bit of cleaning up but like I'm just not that bothered so she was like your brows are so so and I was like thank you and then she was like, it was like, oh, well, like, it's just my opinion. Like, don't live your life like, based on other people. And I'm like, I'm not. But if you co pub like, if you comment on a public forum and the person responds and kind of calls you out for being rude, don't get defensive. Just take it. Because at that point, she did come to my page and did make a comment about a physical feature of mine. And like, yeah, I know I'm not good at doing my brows. I know that. Okay, I'm gonna take this Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. It's the pink one. And I'm gonna just kind of tap a little bit underneath my eyes first. Oh, there's too much on this side. <laughs> and this is so, so mattifying. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury one has unfortunately been discontinued. So we will not be using that anymore unfortunately and this one is very 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 mattifying even when i swirl it around with a brush it's quite mattifying so i'm gonna miss that but i need to find an alternative this one is great for the under eyes but i like a little bit more i just want it set i don't need it like matte you know okay then i'm just gonna take a little bit more on my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna brush it over the rest of my face just to set the rest of my face down because I do get oily so the most important thing for me really is making sure that my makeup doesn't completely slide off my face as I go about the day and because this powder is brightening apparently um it also does help kind of like fix the mismatched base makeup, but like my base makeup is still a little off as you can see from my neck. 
All right, so now we're gonna try this. Typically, this is where I do go in with the Dior blush. Today, we're gonna try this. Um, we're gonna take pale pink, and I'm first gonna take the B204 color and pat that in. One thing I definitely like feel is that matte blushes like this are very unforgiving with skin texture and stuff. Like I have a little bit of like hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and it very much like, I don't know, this like color very much accentuates it. I'm then gonna take the B204 or sorry, the B202 and just around kind of like the outside edges up underneath my eyes and stuff and like around the outside, just kind of blend, blur and blend it out. It will lighten this underneath section here, but then it really softens the edges. Okay, not bad. It's a little bit more stark in real life on camera, it looks pretty good. I do like it. This is definitely the look I want to achieve. I just have to figure out my base situation so that it's a little bit more, maybe I just need like to put a little bit more like actual foundation and stuff on underneath this. Okay. So I'm just going to spritz across the center of my face a little bit again, just to soften it all up, help it blend together. And then curl lashes. I have. So you can see my texture a little bit here. Um, gotta work on that. We'll see. This mirror in this palette is quite nice. my lashes then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blink mascara this is a tubing mascara and I love it however I will say that if you have naturally more straight lashes like I do that are a little bit temperamental when it comes to holding a curl this mascara is amazing when you have like an LVL or a lash lift or something like a lash perm um, but it does, it's quite heavy, so it does tend to make my lashes like drop back down. So this is the volumizing one. I think just like the regular one would be fine, but this one really does like make the lot, like it does the most on the lashes. All right, last but not least, the lips. I need to, I have no idea where the lip liner is. Okay. So you take any lip liner, the one that I'm gonna use today is MAC Strip Down. Um, I also religiously use Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Um, that would be kind of, like I, I think Iconic Nude is like my fall, winter, spring, daytime, and Strip Down is definitely like my nighttime nude slash like summer daytime when I'm a little darker but for today we're just gonna lightly line and then I'm gonna blend it in like quite well and then I'm having a little bit of clear gloss on top between this one from Merit or the Dior 100 I love them both one is a little bit like the Dior one is more pink and this one is clear so it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling like for the day but that is it I will link everything 
down below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in the next one.